Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. Today's video is going to be a little bit of a haul. I am also going to piece in some vlog videos. It's just basically me and my brother who is my camera guy for television show we're coming out. I did speak on that on a prior video. If you are not familiar with that, you can also go check out my Instagram where I talk a little bit about that and show some uh, clips as well under Mama for Nicole, just like my YouTube name. So, um, but yeah, just random clips after this uh, video. But I did do a couple hauls. Um, we have did a little bit of shopping. I'm only going to show you um, some of it that I think that you guys would be interested in. First of all, one of them is I did treat myself and I did subscribe to BoxyCharm again. I don't know how long I will have it. I did place another order and I've got another box coming. So I will show you those when I do get them. So if you guys aren't familiar with BoxyCharm, um, it's just like a subscription box. I did get the, um, I don't even remember because I'm, I'm, I used to get Ipsy and BoxyCharm and all the boxes, and it's been a while. You are going to have to excuse my nails. I've just been so busy uh, working and, and getting stuff done and uh, preparing also for my anniversary coming up. So, all right. So, this box I ended up paying since I was a newbie again, technically. I think I ended up paying like 20 something dollars. I did get something extra in here that's not even on the pamphlet. It gives you a little pamphlet and tells you how much everything is. So we will uh, start going through the, uh, it. Um, this is called Avent. And um, let me kind of read up on it for you guys. It is a delightful anti-aging moisturizer for use on the face and targeted eye area formulated with hydrolonic acid that works to deeply nourish your skin. It also combines signature ingredients to help improve the appearance of enlarged pores, uneven skin tone, fine lines, dullness, and weakened skin surface. The regular price for this is $134. Crazy. I'd never buy something like that expensive. This is a um, 1.69 fluid ounces. Now, I did open it. It is like a gel consistency, which I do like that consistency, but it does have a strong perfume smell. Um, so, I'm not sure about this yet. I just put it on my face today. So, consistency I like. Smell, uh-uh. It doesn't smell bad. It's just a strong perfumey smell. Um, but, yeah, we will still give that a go. So, um so far, that's a plus. Also, Natasha Den Dignana, I actually have one of her little palettes here. This is priced at $48, and this is in the scent Cupid, or not in the scent, the palette Cupid. And here are the colors. I really do like this brand, and I like her eyeshadows. Like I said, I already have one of these palettes. And I really like these colors as well. So this was a definite plus for me. Oops. All right. Alrighty. The next product here is, uh, I never know how to pronounce it, but Syot London. This is a dewy highlight glossy cheek glow. This glow in a tube cheeks gives a soft champagne and shiny and a glass like dewy finish thanks to plumping hydraulic acid. Oh, I over poured some because my husband just walked in. It's got vitamin, brightening vitamin C, dragon fruit extract, and nourishing vitamin E. This is normally, to honey, get out of my frame. Those are my husband's favorite suckers, and I bought them for the trick-or-treaters, and he's just been oh, eating them. Well, I'm not having All right, so this is what it looks like. I did put too much. My husband, I was looking at him, so this is a lot. Um, I wouldn't put this much on, but as you can see, it does. <laughs> Show them. That's the baby. This is priced Coco. at $24. So I have a lot of uh, stuff like this that I haven't used. So I am going to start playing around with 
like glossy uh, shine products. Baby, can you please get your your baby? Oh, and it does have a nice. No, please. I got uh, all kinds of stuff up here. A nice coconutty scent. All right. So the next item is glow on the fifth. Which one's glow? Okay. Mm. This one I'm really interested in. Let's see if I can get you. Can it shut? It is called Glow on the Fifth. The normal price is $24. It's Bye Bye Puffy Eyes Cooling Eye Gel Balm. And I did try this on. I didn't get any cooling effect for me. I did get moisturized. Uh, it felt very moisturized. It still does. Um, it says now this is available in a full size, oh, full size travel tube. Infused with caffeine, shea butter, and berry extract. All right. Helps reduce appearance of bags and dark circles. So, really excited about that. Jeez, look at that. This would even look good on your legs or, like, your shoulder or your neck if you're wearing a certain uh, um, shirt. Okay. The next item is Pink Lips Cosmetics. This is in the color Fantasy, and this is just a lip balm tint. This is $12. There is the color. Let's see what it shows up. Ooh, I'm not sure what I think about that one. It's too brownie for me, huh? Um, It says nude color. Maybe it looks different on the lips. Actually, let me try here. Let's see if I can get a mirror. Um, it does kind of look different on the lips. Oh, yeah, it looks pretty nice on the lips. But you still get, like, I'd rather it more, a lot more lighter. But um, it is definitely hydrating. Now, I also got this in the box. As you can see, the card is done. Um, I don't know if this is something new that they're doing, but... I also got another product, and it's called, and like I said, this could be a mistake, or this is something that they could, you know, be throwing in an extra item, but this is Fig Renewal Oil, and here is what it looks like. It's a glass bottle. Let me see. Direction. Warm a few drops in the palms of your hands and apply all over face, neck, and decloche, decloche. Deck, deck low, ugh, whatever. After cleansing, before or after moisturizing. So, let me see what it smells like. Decloche. Why am I not able to say it right now? Decloche. Decloche. That's it. And it does smell good, and I'm really excited. To try this product out I do have some more oils that I am trying to go through right now um, that I'll hurry up and go through now that I've got a larger size but that's everything in my boxy charm you guys and so um, let's get on to what else before I get to Sephora actually let's go ahead and do Sephora so I only spent $48.71 at Sephora. So my friend, um, I actually met with her. And you guys know I love Sol de Janeiro, but I like the original brand. Well, she was wearing this one, and I wasn't interested in the other scents, if I can get this to focus. So this is the pink dragon fruit and jasmine dragon rose one. And um, like I said, I wasn't interested in any other scents until I smelt it on her. And OMG, you guys, this smells amazing. You got to smell this one out. Um, it is pricey, $35 for that. But it does last on your skin like as if it is a perfume and it is considered a body spray. Now, at the Sephora I was at, which is the one inside Kohl's, I did try and smell the lotion on this. And it smelled nothing like this now I don't know if that was just an older lotion or what comment down below um, and let me know the original scent lotion is my favorite and it's very strong but I've no 
but what I've smelt, um, I'll do a double take and, and try and smell again, but what I smelt on this, it didn't smell like anything on the lotion, so, um, I was gonna get, like, a gift set kind of deal, and I was like, nope, I'm just gonna get the body spray. The next item is, as you guys know, my, my wedding anniversary is coming up, so I like to buy my husband little gifts all throughout, um, and then also I've been helping him pay the bills. As you guys know, my husband's been the sole provider for many years. And now that I'm working, I'm helping my man out. So that way he can go spend money on whatever he chooses to spend money on, which is cards, baseball cards, football cards, basketball cards. So just been basically taking the stress off of him and letting him buy whatever he wants. But I did get this. This is a Sephora favorites. They didn't have it in the woman's scent at the Kohl's that I was at. This is only $10 and I would have liked to get the woman one. Um, now this is sample sizes, but I love it for the fact that you can try the cologne. You can bring it home and you get plenty of them. And um, yeah, so I'll just show you kind of what they look like. This is... 1 million and um there you go he also got ralph's club and I, he likes to have these for work like in his pocket he is a smoker so he likes to um this one he let my brother use before we went out one night so this one's done with but polo my brother likes that one and um Prada Ocean, interested in smelling this one. Oh, I think he used this one. That's why it's half gone. I think that's what he used the other night. Because usually they're full like this. As you can see, this one's full. This is Calvin Klein. Aqua de Joe, which is his favorite. He has a large bottle of that. And he has a large bottle of this Dolce Cabana. He likes that so that was ten dollars just to show you guys i think it's worth it i don't know you guys let me know see the spray was 35 and the cologne was 10 now this is how i store my husband's little samples um so he does have some which i need to put these new ones on the bottom but this is how i store it for him i really want him to finish some of these smaller or ones that like like this one this is aqua de joe this is one more use, really. Oh, and it smells so good. And uh, this is one from Sephora. Warm. And what is this? I don't even know what scent. Mm, but it smells good, whatever it is. And like, like I said, he's got some in here. So I just want him to use these up. But um, he hates... The ones that don't have sprays. But I think they all have sprays. So, um, But yeah, this little container, Stetson. Mm, they all, I don't know what it is. I love like all men's cologne. One in a million. He's already got this. Okay, so. But that's just how I store it, you guys. Um, and this. And then he can pull from it put it in his pocket. So, you guys remember how I said my friend... Um, you know, I saw her and she smelled really good. And I was just like, ah, what are you wearing? This was the other one that she was wearing. Now, I have the actual of this. It's very expensive. $300 and something dollars. I actually have this sample of it. It's called Bo Barat Rouge 540. Um, and I'm hoarding this sucker. Because, like I said, this is an expensive, expensive perfume. Um, I also have a roll-on ball of it that's an off-brand. So I did buy an off-brand, which um, this is what it looks like. And the site is Dozier. Yeah, Do Dozier. So, and it smells uh, dead on. And um, they have many other scents. This one was a little bit more pricier. I think I paid 40 something dollars for it. But they have a bunch on there for 20 something dollars. That's other name brands. Well, imitation name brands. But the notes are, sa top notes are saffron, orange, and blossom. Middle notes is jasmine, plum, and cedarwood. Base notes, oak moss, fir, and amber. And this is inspired by... Br Baccarat Rouge? I don't know. I just say Rouge 540. 
Now, um, oh, this smells really good. Oh, yes. Okay, so they do have it where um, if you are not satisfied with your order, you can return it. Here is a little card that came in it. I am actually going to trash this box because I'm just going to put this with my perfume. This is the size of like a three or $400 bottle. So I'd rather pay 40 than that. Oh, and you guys, you just need one spray. Usually I like douse myself because um, I love to be that person that's when she's walking, you can smell my perfume. Um, but this is so strong, you only need one spray. So, so far so good. I do plan on getting um, some scents for my sons for Christmas. Uh, manly scents and things like that. And maybe me another one. I, I do have like three or four coat. Uh, perfumes that I'm going through. I'm not the type um, that likes to have a bunch of perfumes because, you know, this stuff does get bad. It loses its scent. So I'm probably not going to buy myself any. I'm going to have some on my wish list for later. But since I have some, I kind of want to run through these, um, you know, the ones that I have opened. But geez, this smells so good. So so happy all right guys thanks so much for watching uh actually enjoy the clips and i'll see you on the next video bye hey you guys i know it's kind of dark i am just getting on here and folding some clothes and then i will come on and uh, do a little bit of a haul just trying to get some content out for you guys. We have been busy with production and filming. And I've been getting so many messages that, uh, Nicole, where's your videos? Why haven't you been filming? So I am just trying to get these clothes done and folded and put away. Because to be honest with you, they are on my floor. I have so much cleaning to do. But, you know, eh. Yeah, it ain't going to get done right now. Um, it is Sunday. We are planning on cooking out. Um, as you guys can see, I have some clips of my brother in here, in case you guys are wondering. So stay tuned, and let's see what I have for you guys. Start. Jackson Moves they're going to down it just outside the 21 yard line. 61 yard punt by Cook. Eagles by six. <laughs> oh. Shut the door, hurry, shut the door. I've done this one before. I remember that, dude. Whoa. Oh. Yeah, that's a good one. Dude, I can tell how this is going to work out, that's for sure. <laughs> Get back, Mobile. Bam, 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 bam. <laughs> Frankie, look. It's cheese. All they did was train how to take over a plane, hijack the plane, and fly the plane. And not only fly the plane, but fly it into a building and kill everyone in the plane, in the building as much as they can, and themselves too. So they were suicide attackers. Damn. They knew they were gonna die. Crazy, I'm huh? Literally well, don't even look at I me. Think I would rather, You're making me fucking laugh. I would, when you were I would, my friend would rather jump off the plane than to No, it was so bad that people Stop. in the building were trapped because the plane had hit at a certain level. There were still 20 yeah, yeah, floors above right, where the right. plane hit. So the people that were on the 20 yeah, floors above yeah. the plane couldn't get down. So they were stuck right, 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 in that building. And they're okay, 
Gracias. 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 Gracias.